Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. And today I'll be taking a look at the G.I. Joe's representative in the Navy SEALs, the Sea, Air, and Land Special Division, the 1983 Torpedo. Now, Torpedo makes his first appearance in the Marvel comic book run in issue 13, and makes his first cartoon appearance in the five-part miniseries, the 1983 A Real American Hero, in the third part. Interestingly enough, in the cartoon, he's depicted as wearing a dark blue, an all dark blue scuba suit with a white hood. Whereas a toy, and obviously the comic book representation as well, has his rather distinctive black with gray trim scuba suit. Another interesting thing about the cartoon is he's, a, a, he's depicted as being rather a um, friendly party animal. Whereas in both the comic books and on the file card, he's, a, he's pretty much depicted as a cold fish. A rather bad pun. Shame on you, Mr. Larry Hama. But you get the gist of that these almost seem like two di very different people. Torpedo comes in a very eye-catching two-tone scuba suit, which is very reminiscent of a sporty or commercial outfit. But because of the subdued colors, it fits in very well with the military theme. Torpedo comes with a harpoon rifle. Scuba tanks. and swim fins. Unfortunately, because the swim fins have this uh, little toe stop here, um, it's a little difficult to put these swim fins on any other figure, making them a little less universal than the swim fins that would have come with later figures, like 1985 eels and the 1986 wetsuit figures. And speaking of which, Later figures would have a separate air hose, whereas Torpedo here has one just sort of molded onto the side of his face. In the comic books and the cartoons, Torpedo has a peer in a fellow Navy diver, Deep Six. Now, in the comic books and cartoons, Deep Six actually does have a cold fish personality himself, so it's actually kind of nice that the cartoon depicted the two as having a differing personality in order to bring out some comedy relief from time to time. Now, Torpedo was supposed to be replaced by the 1986 wetsuit, who is also a seal. However, in the cartoon, in by 1986, the two were still seen working together. Back to Deep Six. As you can see, the shark box actually depicts Torpedo here being attached to the bottom of the shark. And in fact, you can place them on there rather well, rather easily. And he becomes his namesake. A living torpedo. One unfortunate thing about torpedo is the fact that he has that molded on air hose, and even if you remove his flippers, he still has a harpoon gun as a main weapon, which makes him a little awkward looking when you put him in a ground attack situation. And he is supposed to be a sea, air, and land tactical soldier. Conversely, because his face is totally covered up, you can actually army build the figure. In other words, you can make a whole squad of your own divers just out of this one single figure. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Thank you for watching my video, and stay tuned for next week to see another 1980s G.I. Joe Toy Review. See you then!